Hello peoples! <laughs> Hi guys! How is everyone? Hello! Rochelle, I've sent your message. Please heal quickly. Kenny, Abby, Kat, hello! <laughs> Welcome Alicia, hello! Pam, hello! Helen, hello! <laughs> Welcome guys, how are you all? Jessica, hi! Welcome to chat! <laughs> I posted up a few links uh, before we started. Some of the things that I'll be using today. Hi Angela, welcome! And uh, Lisa, welcome! And uh, did I say cat? I better have said cat. Hello cat, welcome! Oh, thanks Helen! Alright, so um, today... Hi Veronica! Today we're actually having a play because... The lovely Kenny and Helen sent me some happy mail on Friday and um, and Isolina sent me this for my birthday uh, for like nearly two months ago. Gosh, time flies, hey? Anyway, <laughs> so I promised that I would do an image from the Misfits book that she sent. So I'm going to be doing this cute little... A? 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 <laughs> That's her name anyway. Um... Oh gosh, Shadow, hello. She's very upset because I've taken up my whole desk and she can't cuddle. <coughs> Am I using the... Ah! I don't, no, I don't know yet. I'm going to use the, the um, Faber-Castell Elbrecht Elbrec Jura. Um, stop it. I brought my house over. I finished another mini house. So I wanted to show you. Shadow, okay, look. There you go. There you go. Say hello. Quick. Hello. Say a quick hello. Say it. No, I just want to cuddle you. <laughs> you are going to roll yourself off, Missy. All right. Now, go away. <laughs> now, go away. All right. This is my... <laughs> All right. Ah. Now, Helen, what am I using the what? The watercolor? Oh, maybe. I don't know yet. We'll see how far we get with this one. Oh my goodness, Shadow. <sighs> Anyhow, this is the little house I just finished. I haven't added the lights yet. Well, they're in there, but I haven't turned them on yet. I haven't, you know, connected them. See, all the wires are all loose here at the back. So they'll connect and uh, that'll all go inside there when it's finished, which is kind of cool. But this is the auspicious loft. It's actually quite tiny. These little doors here. I don't know what that says. I, I did try to do a you can see there's a there's a, a tree here oh gosh I'm stuck tree on the side here it's a little bit blurry sorry and um, there's like a little bathroom in there no this little bathroom little bedroom setting some slippers and then down the bottom there we've got uh, a little teapot, some glasses, a little couch there, a book. It's like a little shadow, a little bonsai here, a little pond and some flowers sitting everywhere. Um, it's come out quite cute. That's not supposed to be there, but that's okay. It's, that's okay. It's a bit of moss. I'll pull that out later. But how sweet is that one? Hi, Doris. Hi, Mona. Welcome, guys. Oh, Doctor Who as well. Awesome. No, this definitely isn't from the book, Doris. This one is printed on my own paper because this book is um, Create Space paper, which is not very good for a lot of things. Excuse me. I've had enough of being attacked. Thank you. I'm still being attacked. Would you like something? What? I think I've had enough of being scratched at. <laughs> All right, I'm putting my house away. He's very cute. And this is only size wise. Um, this, uh, this, I get my ruler. This is uh, 20 centimeters by 
17 and it's about roughly 17 high so it's actually quite small this little house um, these little little uh, things were actually small so they were really uh, in between the really mini one and the normal sort of sized one which was 124 I think the normal one is roughly cat thank you so very much thank you <laughs> oh my goodness you are amazing. I have to say thank you so very much. I, <laughs> you guys have uh, have <laughs> a way of giving me uh, big surprises, and I love it. Thank you very very much. Um, everybody, send Cat a hug, please. Thank you. Hi, Patty. Welcome. I know, fifteen minutes at least, doesn't she, Cat? <laughs> the house took me that one took me uh not that long but I did it over a couple of weeks so um I did a little bit here and there uh, during the days and um yeah it, it's been fun it hasn't taken me too long at all I really enjoyed doing that one it was perfect size I wish they were all that size <laughs> Cat. <laughs> Nightbot hugged you. Nightbot. Nightbot hugged you, Cato. Yeah. Alright. Are you done? Are you good? Alright. So, Misfits. I picked this. Well, I got Cam to go through the book and he picked two and uh, this is one I already picked. So, because we both picked that one, I decided to go with that one. <laughs> Sherry. Hi, Kimmy. Welcome. <laughs> welcome guys uh, anyone I've missed there welcome thank you for coming and supporting me <laughs> Kenny's adorable hello Kenny welcome my lovely all right Doctor Who oh. Doctor Who okay cool we've got hugs going around everywhere I'll do a quick flip of this book eh just a quick one I'm not gonna sit and hang on pages too long uh, it's called the misfits a nautical coloring book for adults and odd children i'd fit in the odd children category i would say <laughs> i'm gonna say if you'd like a copy of the book uh if you just uh type in exclamation mark event and uh, it brings up which is about to now because I just did uh, the link to the book on Amazon it is made of create space paper so it's extremely thin and see-through uh, so I have printed on watercolor paper for today which I'll grab those details as well in a sec but let's have a look at this book so very cool Lisa, uh, Captain Marvel is a big hit. I've had so many comments and uh, and likes on the video from Friday. So uh, congratulations. <laughs> Everybody loves her. This is quite cute. No. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. It is very cute. It is very cute. This is my first actual white stag book, so that's cool too. Um, I do have, you know, Colouring Heaven. There's pictures in the Colouring Heaven books and things like that from them, but I haven't actually got, this is the first book I've actually got. Oh, she's so cute. Now, I just pronounced her A. A-Y-E. I. A. -Y -E -A. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Welcome. <laughs> oh, isn't she sweet? Oh, she's lost her horn. Calling the storm. How 
how is your cold my sweets i hope you are feeling better this one's on the front cover nothing worse mm -hmm. This is very cute. To my daughter. Oh, that's so sweet. Anyhow, cute. And uh, as I said, create space. So Amazon print them and send them. So they're printed on fairly uh, basic paper. Okay. Now I've printed mine on really thick card. This is the Canson XL watercolor paper. It's quite cheap. Um, I like it. I print it on the smooth side. So there's a rough, really rough textured side. And then there's a smoother side. I usually print it on the smoother side, especially when I'm using pencils. Cause generally you can see the pencil strokes if you're not, uh, even with water. I think the only thing that I've used on it that doesn't really show pencil strokes is, um, is ink tents and um, I've used a lot of the uh, watercolor markers on this paper and I love it um, so brilliant paper I don't know if it's in my list but it is in my I'm pretty sure it's in my list below but if it's not I will give it to you right now it's Canson XL watercolor paper Okay, now the brushes I'm using, I've got a mixture of brushes <laughs> and I've put them under ah, exclamation mark W brush, so water brush. Uh, I've got three different brushes. Oh good Emily, I hope so. Hi Loretta, welcome. I know too many books. So there's three different links. There's the Lowell Connell. I don't know how to say it properly. Um, there's two different ones. They don't have the set of these soft comfort brushes on Amazon anymore. Um, I got mine in a set, but I found a number eight size uh, on Amazon, but that's the one that one is. Uh, I've also got the black velvet, silver black velvet brushes, a set of those. And uh, these little dudes. <laughs> Uh, the same brand as the Soft Comfort brush, and I thought I'd get them because I quite like that brush. They're very similar. They've just got lighter um, coloured hair, and um, they're smaller. So these are tiny. I think this might be two sets, because, uh, yeah, I think it's two sets. So, But I've linked the brand, so maybe you can find them from that. Um but I just wanted to show you there. I'm also using the Caran d'Ache palette, uh, which I have. I use this all the time. I'm popping a link there as well. There you go. Hi, Maribel. Welcome. Is that how you say it? Maribel? Maribel? It's a lovely name. <laughs> It is good, Helen. It's good watercolour paper, this one. You've got your list split up into groups. What a great idea! <laughs> uh, mini houses. I tell you what, I had a package and I have so many mini houses now. It's not funny. Oh, thanks, Jessica. Thank you. All right, cool. So, uh, it's a bit dirty. Doesn't matter. I'm going to be using this side. <laughs> Let's move this out of the way. <laughs> Not out of the way. I'm going to be using these lovelies. I've put these under exclamation mark Jura. I don't know how to say that. I think it's Albrecht. 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 I don't know. 
but anyway um and the lovely kenny and helen sent these over um together in their post package now oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right nanny's having a bit of a sook nanny's been a little bit of a brat this morning um oh, brat, brat all right i'm just gonna open them up i did swatch all of them uh, a couple i need to redo another layer because they didn't come up that well but i did like a really really tough layer of them so i could see uh, the pencil color and how they would look underwater and they're very 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 similar to the polychromos colors almost exactly the same i'm gonna say um so that's really cool uh she just had her first birthday uh nanny turned one on the 24th of june <laughs> she had a big birthday it's humid there. It's actually freezing here. In fact, I'm thinking about putting on my gloves. It's just getting colder by the minute. So that's for my flip book. I'm just going to pop them in there with my museums. Just popping them back in. And uh, that's my flip book almost completed, uh, which is groovy. <laughs> groovy baby I don't know Austin Powers has been on my brain it's a funny movie anyhow <laughs> it's a funny movie I also ordered some more refills because uh, on Monday last week we started the Jasmine Beckett image and I didn't want to go and finish that until I got my refills because I ran out of quite a bit of uh, color <laughs> we're doing it so I thought there's no use me starting or trying to finish it when half of the markers I was trying to use were actually out so uh, I have reordered some colors and most of them were still in the big size which was pretty cool um, so I will finish that when I get my refills which I'm hoping I'll get today in fact that would be good I don't have much room. Oh, awesome, Kenny. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, they're supposed to match the polys. That's right. They're like a complementary set to each other. So uh, if it comes to a time, like once I start to do this and I, I feel like I need to add a little bit more depth, I could use polys because they're going to be a color match to them. So uh, they will work quite well together. Mm. got the burps I have the burps <laughs> excuse me oh this is so exciting I don't know where to start <laughs> um I'm not sure now I'm not sure whether it's best to start with light or dark for watercolor mm. we're gonna have to do some layers so we might have to do little bits and pieces of some areas and come back and redo other areas possibly that's my thinking anyway. Um, usually with watercolor, they say start light to dark. Hi, Renee, welcome. Hi, Ray, welcome. Hi, Kathy, welcome. I know it is, they are very expensive supplies at the moment. Well, I haven't actually tried these properly because um, I haven't had them. So this will be a bit of a test to see how they fare up. Oh. Hi, Shara. Welcome. All right. I think we might do light to dark. Um, some of these haven't been sharpened, so I'm just going to use my electric sharpener. I'm sorry, it's a little bit noisy.
but um, my hands are sore. <laughs> I'll do the electric. <laughs> Let's zoom in a bit. Let's do some skin, shall we? Now, if you're worried about your paper wrinkling or buckling, uh, tape it down to a board and uh, do it that way. It will help just stop it from like buckling up. Uh, it'll be a lot smoother and easier to go over. Um, but I don't know where my board is, so I'm just going to do it on here. Normal. Linda, hello. Welcome. How are you feeling, my lovely? Just going to do a really light layer of light flesh or I think it's now changed this is an older set so it's got the old colors um, I'm pretty sure all of the Elbrick Dura ones have changed names as well so this would be red beige uh, if you're buying it open stock that might be the color that you'll have to buy And uh, I'm going to try doing light to dark first. So I'll just do a full layer of this first. And I'm not sure if this will be the best way to use the pencils either. It's, it's all just learning. Learning. I do know though that uh, with watercolour pencils it is best to do light pressure so you don't get pencil lines. Uh, on the paper you want to be able to blend all of that out and have it nice and smooth so if you keep a light pressure you're not going to get those grooves or indentations which will cause it to be rough looking hi Robin welcome <laughs> Welcome. Everybody sending hugs. I love it. Hugs are good. Alrighty. We'll do a little bit of our neck here as well. Although I've got a feeling it's going to be quite dark down there. Now what do you think? Should I go over it and wait for it to dry? Or should I just do a couple of layers of each colour? And uh, see how it goes. I think we might do a little bit of that. So I'll go with some cinnamon. I don't know how this is going to go. We, we're going to need to test. She's got a strange face. I'm going to have to get used to colouring that too. <laughs> You know, different shaped faces, they, they, you have to colour them different. So uh, I'm not quite sure yet where I'm at on this face. <laughs> we'll just uh, wing it. That's my favourite word. Just wing it. Just winging it. How is everybody's weekend? It's already Monday here, by the way. Monday morning. For those that are still on their Sunday, still having a bit of their weekend.
<laughs> Hi, Beth. Welcome. Okay, so uh, those that are just coming in, this is the White Stag Misfits colouring book. Nautical colouring book for adults and odd children. That's me, odd child. I said that before. I'm using the Albrecht Jura Faber-Castell pencils that Kenny sent over and I've printed on the Canson XL paper. I've used Light Flesh and Cinnamon so far uh, and I'm going to use a little bit of Kaput Mortem Mortuum Mortem Violet Mortune <laughs> you worked oh working's good oh no cat fireworks quiet weekend good you should be resting good to hear <laughs> I'm going to add this into the shadows. Now, as I said, I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it or not. So we'll find out once we start adding water. Trial and error. Sometimes error. <laughs> Sometimes error. Give her a little bit of a, a nosy shape there. Um, hi, Riggs. Oh, she is, isn't she? And Helen also sent me some cute stuff. This we it just happened that it arrived on Friday when I was live. It was just uh, awesome. It was a great surprise, that's for sure. Are these her eyebrows? Do you think? I think they are her eyebrows. I'm kind of leaning in that direction. Um, I have used polychromos on this paper over watercolour before uh, to answer your question, Sherry, but um, it is quite rough. It's, it's designed for to grip watercolour, like it's designed for watercolour. <laughs> it's designed to hold it in its layers. Um, so because of that, if you were using polychromos or other pencils over the top you're going to have to put a fair bit of pressure down to flatten out the tooth of that paper and get nice quality colour nice quality colour <laughs> This is what I'm using. I'll pop it up there again. Uh, yes, the mixed media one does, the thicker one. Uh, Robin, I have used, uh, on Patreon there is one. I have used uh, watercolor. I used, uh, what am I thinking of? What are they called? Neo Color 2 on it. Um, and it came out pretty awesome. I quite liked it. They do. Oh, Helen, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Anyone else that's popped in? Hello, if I've missed you. I want to say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello. 
Alicia and I were, we had our hair done this week, uh, this weekend, and on the way back we were thinking of all these songs that we used to listen to a lot uh, years ago. <laughs> and uh, I have a whole heap of older songs that have been going through my head. I'm going to add a little bit more cinnamon just so we can blend out from that darker color again. As I said, I'm hoping this will work. <laughs> I'm hoping. Just doing a few extra layers over it. And then I'm going to go back in with that light flesh, light flesh again, light flesh, red beige if you've got the newer ones. So if you're a patron, uh, I'll do. Alicia is just noting down the colors that I'm using and uh, I'll do a conversion to other watercolor pencils or watercolor brands so Supracolor, um, Museums, uh, Inktense. It's really hard with Inktense. Inktense is hard to match to because it's a lot brighter. It's a little bit different to general watercolor brands. Um, and I can even add in that maybe even some markers, watercolour markers on the list. We'll see. We will see. Alright. I don't have Arteza water pencils, unfortunately. Cinnamon is a good colour. Hi Kelly, welcome! Hi country girl, welcome. Yeah, I don't have Arteza watercolour. I didn't even know they had any. I did not know. Let's see how it turns out. I'm going to use number brush. I got two. Th I haven't used this brush before so it needs a bit of a wash. Oh, there it goes. I got two water things and I also have a cloth. Look how dirty it is from all my painting. <laughs> uh, so I've just wet my brush and I'm just going to sort of dab it off on my on my cloth a little bit there. And uh, I'm going to start from the light area. I'm going to move out towards the dark and see how this works. Moving in towards the darker areas. She's going to definitely need more yellow here. She's looking very pink right now. Oh, 
Oh, they are? Ah, uh, Shara? Actually, you know what? Um, where's Emily? Emily might know. Uh, Emily uses Arteza a lot. Oh, that's a cheap brush. Hair fell out. As I said, this was a new one, so it was probably just not in there properly. I'm going to try doing it two different ways. I'm going to try by doing this, drawing it on, and then I'm going to draw onto my palette and try it that way as well. I usually like that method better because I got a little bit more control over it. If you are going to do it directly on to the paper like this, if you want to draw back on the paper, you need to make sure it's completely dry, like seriously bone dry. Otherwise, you'll rip your paper with the pencil because the pulp in the paper will go extremely soft and it will take a long time to dry. So you need to make sure if you are going to do layers where you're drawing layers that you do wait till it's dry completely. <laughs> yeah, they do, Kenny. And it's a new brush too. <laughs> Look, you can, if you're drawing on it, Sherry, you wouldn't pre-wet it. Um, cause, because you would just rip your paper. Uh, if you're just using them like watercolour from a palette, a little bit different. You could definitely pre-wet your water. I hope that makes sense. Pre-wet your paper, I should say. I know, it comes to life, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm thinking this actually doesn't look too bad, but it's kind of streaky. I'm going to need to add more colour in here to smooth it out a little bit. But we've got a good base, a good base. Yeah, it, it is. For actual watercolouring, it is. it definitely does create less warping. Um, this paper is actually not too bad it doesn't really buckle that much anyway but it is quite thick and not everyone can put this thick paper through their printers so alright moving on Yeah, if you've got uh, thinner watercolour paper and it buckles, the tricks are to tape it down nice and tight uh, beforehand. And you can pre-wet if you would like. Depends on what look you're looking for. Sometimes if you're not looking for a real wet look, you pre-wetting the paper is not going to, it'll just bleed everywhere. You're not going to have the same control. So it depends on what type of effect you're looking for. All right. Uh, just remember, some pencils are workable. So what that means is that you can reactivate them. Uh, whereas something like ink tense is not usually you can't re usually reactivate it. So once it dries, it's dried. Uh, Nani just turned one, Kenny. <laughs> Nani is, is, is not coming in. <laughs> 
she will she gets into everything <laughs> like seriously everything all right let's have a look so we got a i've got a the karen dash palette and um i love this palette because it has a rough side and a smooth side the smooth side is perfect for uh, watercolor markers so if you want to put a marker down it's perfect for that kind of thing it's also perfect for the neo color pencils or crayons I should say I'm just gonna wipe that off because that's gonna smudge on my page I just cleaned the back of the palette off with my cloth wet cloth and if I lean it over my page it's gonna smudge on it so let me just clean that off and uh, this side is scratchy and it's perfect for pencils because it grabs the pigment of the pencil and it allows you to use it like a watercolor it doesn't wear down the pencils too much either so if I was to sit here with my brush and grab the pigment off there that directly it's going to eat into the pencil and chew away at the actual lead and uh, obviously you'll have this wood it'll just wreck the pencil so to get it without doing that we can put it on a palette like this and just add water and it becomes watercolor pretty cool huh it's my favorite and uh, if you don't have it obviously there's other things you can do you can scribble on a yogurt lid or some sort of plastic lid but you're not going to get as much pigment you need something that might have a little bit of a scratchy tooth on it so it picks it up a little bit <laughs> uh, robin if i if if we get a chance at the end i'll get cam to bring her in she's so big now all right yeah she's looking pretty messy to me so i want to neaten her up a little bit I'm going to add in some of the light flesh. I need a fair bit because I'm covering a large area. Also, too, if you're having trouble with streaky marks, you may need a larger brush for a larger area. So I'm going to use my number 10, which is a bit bigger. I'm just going to add some water. A little bit more, make it a little bit runny. And because it allows me to cover a larger area in one go, it comes out a little bit smoother. There we go. And I've just smoothed off that skin just like that. I can still go in and add a little bit more depth if I want to, uh, which I will, but we'll just wait until that dries a little bit. Oh, there you go a cutting mat that's a good idea actually uh, Robin I never thought of that oh you did look did you Shara oh awesome they got the same names but I don't know if they're the same color um, is the the thing like they they may be very similar and they do go really well together like they're supposed to complement each other So when you're using, uh, Helen, when you're using larger areas, a bigger brush is better. You'll get less streaks through it. Smaller brushes are good for details. Um, and 
honestly it doesn't it's not how expensive they are just try different brands i like this brand the lowell is it how you say it lowell low cornell lowell cornell um these are the golden tolkien ones um but yeah i like them they're nice i don't i have trouble using i do use them occasionally but i do have trouble using the silver black velvet brushes because they're so so extremely soft so if you have a look at when I'm like flicking this with my fingers, it's quite stiff still, but this is like completely flat. Like it's really soft. When that's wet, it just bends. Like it doesn't, this stays in shape. This is really soft. So you might find that some brushes are too soft and not, like this is more for really loose watercolor where you just want that water just to flow over the page. This is probably more for that sort of precision area that you want to get to in particular well it looks all right at the moment yeah there's no streaks i'm going to add a little bit of uh, ivory to that ivory ebony anyway very wet now very wet now dry dry <laughs> dry Just cleaning out some of the areas it bled into. Alright. I'm going to leave there for a minute. And, uh... And we'll go to a different section because it's going to be too... Um, yeah, what, should, what color should we do the hood? Like, you know, let's... Should we do red? I'm thinking red. I'm going to maybe black hair. I don't know. I'm having a... <laughs> moment. <laughs> that will do. I think we'll do that. I think we'll go with some red. Let the skin dry for a minute. I'll come back in and we'll do some more darker color because we've lost a little bit. I'm going to go with some dark red. I think first. Hmm. Maybe I should add some. Yeah, let's go with dark red. Need a smaller brush now because I'm going to do a smaller area. I'm wondering whether I should have started with light red. I think I should have. Give me a sec. Changing my mind here. I'm going to go with scarlet red. First, change my mind. Let's do the base colour first, eh? Add some water in my palette. We 
it's very pretty. Using my bigger brush. I'm going to be doing black hair, I'll just add those little sections there later. Pencils, are they good? <laughs> For a budget pencil, they're alright. Just liked them, I sold them in my opinion. Um, uh, if it's just the width that it can't take, but it can take the thickness, just trim it down. That's what I do, Angela. I trim it down. I haven't tried the Derwent watercolour ones. I've got Museums, uh, Supercolour. Thank you. Welcome. They want to see Nani at the end. Okay. <laughs> huh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, thickness. Okay, yep. Alright, let's go the next middle colour. The middle colour I'm going to use will be deep red. I had a cup of tea here. Yay! Let's add some water to that. Actually, I don't know if I want to use this big brush, but I'm going to give it a go because I've already got it on there now, hey? Brush might have been a little bit too big. Oh, the darker one. Get a little bit of depth. Make sure that we I nearly dipped that into my tea then. <laughs> I'll move it. Moving that tea because it was right next to my water. Hi fairy gal. Welcome. 
note different color. So I used the base color was scarlet red, the next color was deep red, and I'm going to use dark red next. But I'm just going to blend off those edges a little bit, uh, just using the scarlet red, just to blend the edges off a little bit. It can look a little bit smudged. Schmidged. So, so far I've used Scarlet Red and then I used Deep Red. I'm just using a little bit of the Scarlet Red just to smudge the very edges out, so make them a little less harsh, blending them in a little bit. All right, now, hi Terry Lynn, welcome. <laughs> now, <laughs> I don't make it look easy. Now I'm going to try to add in the darkest color, which I'm going to use dark red. Dark red. And I think I need to use a smaller brush. Just clip that off and try a little bit smaller. And I might need to put more red on there. It's dried up a little bit. Try and get a bit of depth in here. Might be too wet still, it's bleeding a bit. Dark red. I think I'm just going to have to let it naturally bleed out. Give that material some sort of dimension there. The characters I create are all melancholy or a bit morbid in some fashion. It's her signature style. It is. That's what it says. It's for adults or odd children. I'm odd. It reminds me of um, the, the uh, peculiar events of, of what's, is it Liminy Snicket's peculiar, whatever it is. I don't know. What is it, Alyssa? You know what it is. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> lemony, lemony, lemony snickets. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Series of unfortunate events. That's kind of what it reminds me of. That 
dark, kind of eerie. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> In the end, I got there. I just had to, you know, my mind had to mentally produce the words <laughs> I could say them. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> uh, I think we need a li little bit more depth. I think um, I've skimped a bit here. <laughs> more contrast is what we're looking for I'm running out it's not really horror though is it it's just weird like strange not you know um, I'm just going to wipe off my palette there a little bit and add some more. Yeah, it's cute. Like, this is like, it's, yeah, she's got a sad face, but it's not, like, scary, you know. So I've decided to do it a little bit thicker. It needs more contrast to be able to see uh, what I'm trying to do, I think. So I'll just make it a little bit thicker. I did the unicorn <laughs> pooping a rainbow. <laughs> there is a unicorn pooping a rainbow. <laughs> we call them unicorn farts. <laughs> There's a clip I'm um, going around where. Um, okay, I'm going to use the deep red. So that was dark red. I'm using deep red. Um, where the unicorn is sitting there pooping and there's little ice creams popping out on a conveyor belt behind him. Uh. <laughs> Very cute. Just joining it together a little bit now. I need more. I think I need a bigger brush again though because that one is driving me crazy. It's a little bit small. I find brush sizes aren't consistent either. It's kind of strange. Some say, you know, it's this size, but then you pick up another same size brush in a different brand. Completely different size. <laughs> like that's confusing so it's just luck yeah it was a bit better though more deep bread 
I picked up the dark red pencil instead by accident then. <laughs> Unicorn farts. Yeah. <laughs> Unicorn farts are good. <laughs> my sleeves up there they're getting in my panicked go in with I'm just going to wet that a little bit and get rid of clean it off dry it that's why I use a cloth and not tissues oh you could use a baby wipe too that would work well to get rid of that excess if you can get them uh, it's coloured red is the lightest colour we use. I'm going to use it all over so I'm going to give it a good scribble there. I'm going to use my bigger brush again and uh, we're going to... I wish I could move stuff over. I'm struggling for a room here. That's a bit better. Clean water. Nice. Mix it well. Just try and blend those edges a little bit, but keep our dark and light areas. Will be a postie, bear with me. Hiya, I'm back. Sorry, he uh, wanted to talk, of course. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, it was actually some, well, not happy mail. A good mail wasn't, it's not gifted. It's stuff I brought. Actually, I got the Colouring Heaven magazine. But um, I think there's one missing. I haven't received the fairy one yet. This is the dragon one already. It was a fairy one. I might need to go through them and see what I've got because I think I've got one missing. The dragon one came. It's pretty cute. 
cute. <laughs> um, by Dragonology by De Gold Steer. Is that how you say it? De Gold. Uh, Bonnie uh, Books Worldology series. Hmm. And Douglas Carroll. Uh, Ernest Drake. Hmm. Anyhow, there's a mixture. Yeah, I haven't received the. I think the. Was it. So it was. The fairy one was number 62. I still haven't received it. So uh, if I don't, I'm going to try and get my money back for that. <laughs> All right. And now uh, the other thing was. Uh, was uh I just realized I forgot the other thing guess what it is it is uh it is a few hundred bucks I spent on marker refills so now I can finish my Oh, I also brought another a new marker, B79, which I didn't have before. And uh, I got a refill for that too, so those are new. But all the rest are refills. I also got all my skin colours again, because, uh, you know, big containers and all. <laughs> and the rest are all the blues that I was running out of as I was going through and doing it, and the green. They didn't have the other green I ran out of, actually, um, which was a bit of a bummer in, in any of the sizes, so... I don't know if it's hard to get or what. But yeah, I got some Copic refills. Yes. So that's the... But they've changed them now. They're they're like the size of a... The refills are like the size of a sketch. Um, so half the size, I reckon. I don't know. Does anyone know the millage changeover? I didn't get any new ones. They're all the big ones. paint went everywhere anyhow <laughs> let's go back to finishing that off uh, what was that one scarlet I think we're looking good. It's got a little bit more depth in it and uh, I'm just getting rid of some of those actual harsh lines. No, I can't get any here in Australia, the art boxes. Otherwise I would, but... Yeah, Helen, it's true. I The colouring heaven, it's a hit and miss, isn't it? Um, and I don't think I've actually physically... Except for Gothic Alchemy... It's the only one I've actually specifically printed and done something out of it. Um, a lot of the images in all the other ones I've actually purchased off the artist anyway. So um, I haven't actually physically coloured anything from it. Just cleaning that up a little bit. Anyhow, how's that look? 
We got plenty of depth. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. We could probably go in with a little bit darker again and add some of that uh, darker colour to it, but I think I'm actually alright with it at the moment. There's a couple of areas that did really soften off though. So uh, I'm going to mix some of that dark red. I'm actually going to mix a little bit of Payne's Grey or black with it. Let me find one. Do we have a Payne's Grey in this set? Yes. Get a little bit darker. Not dark enough. You added too much water there. Trial and error. Dark red, Payne's grey. Small brush. That'll do. That will do. I am using Canson XL watercolor paper. Uh, and I'm using the smooth side. There we go. <laughs> Well, I guess the ones that you can't buy images from the artist are the ones that uh, are better value. Um, or if, you know, the, I don't know. Gothic al alchemy, I don't, I haven't actually ever seen an actual colouring book from them. So I guess... Is that going to be used a better price? You know, like you're getting, <laughs> it's worth it for something like that. I'm <laughs> banging, <laughs> Diane. <laughs> They're banging. Of course they are. Wouldn't think anything less. <laughs> All right. Um, let's do a bit of gold color stuff. Um, I'm thinking. What am I thinking? I'm thinking, I don't know. <laughs> burnt ochre, no, burnt umber, light yellow ochre, and something really light, like, um, like light chrome yellow. And uh, let me just wipe this, this off here.
giving it a good wipe because we're going to be doing yellows on it so make sure it's nice and clean it's stained but it's not dirty it's well loved you know art products should look like that <laughs> they should look well loved <laughs> I, w I wish that like um I love that Ennis has some of her darker grayscale stuff and her normal stuff. It would be nice if Nell's, because a lot of Nell's ones were all liner. It would have been nice if there was some of her gray scale stuff in that as well. I'm getting this like powdery look. Do you guys find that with them? Kind of looks like powdery over the black lines. I don't know. I like that. It makes everything so dull looking. Might have to go over the lines with a pen at the end just to. Dunno. <laughs> Dunno! Let's do some gold. I'm gonna use some light chrome yellow. Pretty colour. Nice and bright. I'm going to add a touch of light yellow ochre. And then just a little bit of uh, burnt umber. Uh, yeah, see, we can't get art boxes here. Um, oh, Pam, check out the video we did, though. Patreon one. I zoomed in enough to see what I'm doing there. Gotta go back in with the yellow, light yellow ochre. You'll actually be, if you watch, go watch the Patreon video, the the dark, dark one we did on Gothic Alchemy. I think you'll be surprised in um, how easily the colour actually goes over the dark grey scale. A little bit more of that light yellow ochre. It's not as hard to cover up the dark as people think. And then that light chrome yellow.
Ooh, banana bread. Nice. See you, Shara. That was me drinking my tea. Let's <laughs> add a uh, green in our eyes here. Let's go with some greens. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I'm going to go with a little bit of pine green first. <laughs> I'm going to throw my pencil around first. Ah, you can do it, Pam. Copy it and print a copy out. What did I say that was? Pine green. And then uh, something nice and light, but nice coloured. What about... Mm, no, I don't like that. I like hookers green. Hookers green! Let's do that one. Coming over the top of the other colour. And I'm just going to come down. Trying to stay dark in the dark areas and light in the light. Might add a little bit of that um, light chrome yellow still on my palette here. I do believe that needs to be darker. Got pine green again. I keep hearing cars. A bit more of the hookers green. Print them out, but print them on a smaller paper to see how you go with them. Like make them a a five size. Have a practice. See what you think. Some of the images may not work a five though because they're a bit detailed. But I'm sure there are a few there that were quite zoomed in that would probably work well. I'm going to go with black. Let's 
It's not going to be as dark in the bottom of the eye because we've got the printing on the top, but let's do it. Okay, I'm going to do highlights later on, but uh, let's do a little bit of that black just on my palette. And uh, I just want to do a tiny watered down bit. Just a tiny watered down bit. So it's grey. I'm just going to add a little bit around the bottom of the eye. of the eye there giving it a little bit of depth and then using a clean clean brush fairly dry I'm just going to smudge the edge off so it's nice and smooth just keep drying my brush off with my fingers to get rid of the color that's gone on it some shape and let's uh, use that black again and just go over her eyebrows let's just darken those up a little bit what is the time gosh no thoughts of time today just gone don't want it to smudge through try and keep it neat like neat means like almost full strength just a little bit of water so you can get color but you don't have any bleeding I think she needs some of that in her eyebrows uh, uh, eyelashes too there's hardly any water in it it's nice and dark Kenny thank you so much and thank you for these beautiful pencils they're amazing um, we've had a bit of fun I've liked playing with them I've liked working with them go rest and be well just redoing the eyes with that this line here I'm gonna cover that up but later um, with let's just do it now gouache gouache this gouache is weird and now I'm not gonna use one of my watercolor brushes I'm gonna use one of these crappy <clears throat> crappy brushes I brought for uh, they're like really cheap nail art brushes basically um,
I had Art Spectrum brand of this and uh, I quite liked it. Uh, and I brought the, this is a Talons brand, Royal Talons brand and uh, it really separated in the tube like it's not mixed together properly it's kind of weird so I don't know if I like this one as well, much it's covered over my white my black lines though Robin's gone too. Everyone's leaving me. No. Wait, what? Bye. Oh, it's Kenny saying goodbye. Okay, gotcha. I was having a panic. I'm like, what? Everyone's leaving me? It's not time. <laughs> not time. Make sure you clean your brush out properly when you use gouache too. Because uh, it uh, makes it all stiff and weird. Good. I'm just going to add some of that white into my little gold sections here make some sparkle They are Sherry. Hmm. See, I can't get Arteza properly here. It's American and um, is it American or is it English? I don't know, but I can't get it here. It's very hard to get. Is they only have like certain products, like small products, which you know, if you want the whole set, that's no good. <laughs> All right. It's going to give a black hair. I might do a bit of black and purple, maybe. I've got a thing for purple, so why not? Got some mauve. Mauve. Is that black? And um, something quite white. Violet. Okay, violet, violet. For the violet, I'm just going to do a layer over everything. I think when it comes to watercolor pencils, it's they're all much for the muchness. Like apart from the ink tints being not really watercolor, they're watercolor ink, so it's slightly different, um, and they're permanent. Um, I think if you're trying to choose a set, um, it will come down to what colors you like. You know. Um, some sets have more purples some have more pinks and greens like it depends what you're going to be coloring with and and like your personal color preferences i guess too um the museums have less of the brighter colors and more of the neutral kind of tones earthy tones i think is what i'm looking for um, but the quality of pencils is different to these. The pigment's way different. But you're paying double the price, so... 
Um, but yeah, artistically wise, I think it would really depend on on what colours you like best. Supercolour have a pretty good range of colours, but there are a lot of pastel-y pale colours in, in that set, like the poly, like the uh, Pablo, so they're similar colour to Pablo's. Um, but yet there are some really nice bright colours in it as well. So yeah, I think it just depends on what you like. Need more violet. Ah, oh, thanks, cat. <laughs> Hi, Abby. Welcome back. What? Museums, yeah, they're artist quality, they're archival quality, like, you know, they're, the colours are permanent, like, they're not, <laughs> they fade less. So basically, they're not just student quality. And uh, that's why their colours are more earthy, because they're more, you know, They'll more colour fast is what I'm trying to say. That was the word I was looking for. Colour fast. Light fast. Alright, we've got violet hair so far. Ink tents are permanent. <laughs> Ink tents, uh, I didn't find them expensive. I find them alright. I did find them all right. She's got a little bit of thing there. I might have to colour that different later. Oh, I missed a little bit. Missed a bit of hair. <laughs> Let's do a top in that as well. Violet. I found I'm not sure if I mean expensive compared to museums they're not <laughs> there you go I'm not sure what these are around 200 US dollars which is pretty good Colt pens Colt pens yeah they're a English but UK based shop online shop and they ship worldwide takes a little while to get things but Fairly reasonably priced. I think I got some stuff from Colt Pen when they had a big special on at Christmas time and uh, they end up with free international shipping at the time. So I got a few things from there. Not last year, the year before, I think. Thank you so much to McLovin. <laughs> Just popped up there. Thanks for joining. Yeah, Paul, exactly, Sherry, exactly. All right, so what next? I'm just kind of waiting for it to dry a little bit there. I think 
and we might be able to go with a little bit of depth in the face a little bit there maybe using the cinnamon gonna do it like fairly rich not too much water So not too much water means it's like a milky consistency, not not just like a thin watery consistency. I just want to add in a little bit more depth around the eyes. Just going to use a little bit of a dry or just a wet clean brush just to smooth off those edges Helen, thank you so much. Very, very much. <laughs> it's lovely to have you here. Awesome. What do you reckon? She needs a little bit of pink in her cheeks. She needs a little bit of blush. Let's go with some pink matter lake. And uh, this time I'm going to use a bigger brush. Spread that out a little bit more. Just a nice clean wet brush. Just to... Uh, and soften those edges a little bit. Banana bread's good. I've got a bit of a thing for banana. There was a time where I... Do you, know, do you guys find this? You might find it. I did this thing where I wasn't supposed to eat certain foods. and I did eat quite a lot of bananas. And, uh, and then I found out I was pregnant. And uh, bananas just sort of became horrible. <laughs> I just and I haven't been able to eat them since <laughs> it's just one of those things I just can't I don't know the texture or something I'm not into banana <laughs> yeah. but I'll make it for the others they like banana bread and date loaf banana bread date loaf um coconut bread they all like that kind of thing they do oh no okay cat please look after yourself and look after puppy goodness me i'm gonna add in now into the hair using a smaller brush i'm gonna add some of that uh mauve i'm gonna just do little flicks of color I think a bit of a shadow. I'm going to use it like I use pencils here, I think. Oh, there you go, Hel Linda. It, I, yeah, I'm not into bananas. They make me feel yuck. They smell weird too. Yeah. Ah, an intolerance. Allergy build up. That was too much colour on that brush. Too much water there. 
It's all right. It's going to be nice and dark in there anyway. So you're flicking from these dark areas. Actually, you know what? Isolina's not here, and this was for her. She didn't make it today. <laughs> I spoke to her this morning. She's had something come up. It's good. Just keep flicking. I'm just going to keep flicking my brush. Need more. Why, why not use a pastel pan rather than scratch and wet the board? What do you mean? What's a pastel? I'm not sure what you mean. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> Tell me what you mean. Please. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, you, you could use that. I'm using these because someone gifted them to me. And uh, I said that I would test them out. <laughs> and the colours are completely different too. There's no different, really. Pans are good too. Depends on what brand you get. I've got pans as well. I'm just doing it a little bit darker underneath here. Where it's a lot darker. Uh, which do I prefer? Um, pencils. <laughs> this is less blending. <laughs> color mixing. Less color mixing. <laughs> They're easier. If that makes any sense at all. Um, pans, if you're not good at color matching or mixing or you've got something with a lot of color you've got to spend a lot of time trying to find the right color and the thing that bothers me about that is too that the next time you go to mix that same color it's really hard to get the same color <laughs> you got to get the same values um, I think it takes a lot longer to use pans not that there's anything wrong with that But for something like this, I think I'd prefer the pencils. Because I know that I'm going to get the same colour consistently. love that hair color I'm gonna add black to it so I hope it does it will look all right you know
because I've done it back to front, light to dark, um, I'm trying to figure out how much colour I need in these middle sections. But, uh, I probably could have gone the other way actually, it wouldn't have mattered I don't think. I think there's benefits to both pans and pencils. But I'm no expert guys. I, I, I dabble in a bit of everything. I'm not an expert at any one thing. <laughs> I just kind of have a play with, with everything. So there might be someone out there who might be able to give you a better explanation on you know what the differences are well pans you still with pans you still have to take the color out of the pan and put it onto a like when I'm using my pans I'm still doing exactly the same thing as I'm doing here. Like I'm taking it out of the pan and then putting it on a palette. So essentially it's the same thing. You know, um, let's go, I'm going to use black, but I'm going to do it in this top here with mauve together. I'm going to mix them. I'm going to do it in the darkest areas. Except you can get a lot more color range with the 120 pencils mixing them together like I have here. Um, then you could with 48 pencils, I guess. Yeah, no, the pans are, if you're just going straight from the pan to the paper, you're going to get a really thick, inconsistent colour. I do it from, you put it onto the palette and add a little bit of water on it to lighten it up or darken it up or whatever. I'm going to go back with mauve and just blend a bit of that mauve into that black there. Making it a little bit lighter in that section. Okay, Angela, no problems. Thanks for joining.
Jack of all, master of none. Have you mentioned that the other day? <laughs> That's what it reminded me of then. Just saying that I'm not an expert at everything. I sort of had played a little bit of everything and that's about it. <laughs> Sherry. I'm <laughs> going in with just a little bit of mauve. And adding in some shadows into this side here. A little bit here. And I'm going to need some more violet. Violet, just to blend that in together a little bit. Well, that came out darker than I thought. I had a bit of red on that. <laughs> it's all good. It is all good. Oh, thanks, Linda. Almost done, too. I just want to uh, finish off a little bit more of this hair and uh, and then we'll have a background. But I think I've done a pretty good job. <laughs> She's a little scary looking, but I'm just going to add a little bit of that green into her. Hair thing there. Go to that mix black and... I should have probably grabbed a smaller brush, but that's all right. I kind of want to stop short here with this one and not put too much in to the middle being my darker colour And keep it dark with neither really dark sections. I'm going to need to do some layers. That's the thing too, when you start to add water you're just diluting that colour down. Um, doing a few layers will help I hope to just brighten that colour up a bit like we did with the, the red in the hat. I think she's adorable. 
Adorable. So someone wanted to see, is Robin still there? Is everyone still here? Like, you know, has everyone gone home now? <laughs> has everyone gone home? Everyone gone to bed? Gone home? Had enough? Did you still want me to bring Nani in? Do you want me to see if I can get that camera down on her? She finished her wolf. Yeah, it came out awesome. It did, it did. Fresh black and mauve. You want to see Nani, do you? Well, that bit of mix had more purple in it than black. That's cool. Alicia, are you still there? Is she is she busy? What's she doing? What's Miss Nani doing? Oh, you've got her? Okay. All right. I'll finish this off stream. I'll just... Uh, I think I'll do the backgrounds in, like, blue and grey or something. Make her look a little bit gloomy. Ruby gloom. <laughs> to set the camera up so you guys are going to have to give me a minute to just point it down because she's uh, too big to put up here <laughs> I wouldn't even attempt it anyway. She's 30 something kilos now. She's a big girl. She's grown up a lot. <laughs> We're going to add more purple. We just had to add a little bit more depth to her. So uh, we need contrast. So we can come back in and add some more of that mauve over the top. And brighten it back up again. We'll finish it off later, but I'll add a bit more later. How oh, good, Sherry. Sounds good. All right, cleaning off my brush there. Uh, do you want to bring her in? And uh, give me a sec, and I'll just fi fix up this camera a bit here for a minute. Um, let 
me just flick here. Alright. And... I'm assuming you can all hear me okay? Alright. Look at all this stuff though, she might want to get into that. Nani, what are you doing? She wants to, they want to see her, so, um... See if the camera will catch her. <laughs> I don't want to be there. <laughs> Can you see me much there? No. I don't want to. I don't want to be in the camera. <laughs> All right. What? Click. Click on uh, that transition there. No, up oh, that one. All right. There we go. Can you see her? There she is. <laughs> Can you speak? Speak. Good girl. You're noisy, girl. Really? You're saying hello? Hi. 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 <laughs> Do you want more? Come here. Come here. Yeah. Can you see? Huh. Yep. You good? Yeah. Can you see? What have I got? You look at the camera. Go say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Is she upside down? Is that upside down? It's really hard. Okay. Speak. <laughs> Shh. Quiet. <laughs> oh. That's cute. Can you help her? Yeah, it's upside down. Can you help her? <laughs> upside down. I can't flip the camera. Don't you get? Good girl. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Go on, off you go. Go to Lucia. And go to Lucia. Bye. Speak. Good girl. <laughs> Rough. Sorry she was upside down there. <laughs> she is adorable. She's the cutest little popper. She's got so big now. I won't show hubby's face here, but uh, he's holding her in this photo. And she's very, very cute. Look at that. <laughs> she's adorable. <laughs> she's very, very cute. <laughs> Oh, Linda! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's very cute. Oh, Cameron's got a new knife. He's doing this for a friend. This is huge, Cam. It's massive. Uh, his friend's turning 40. Close family friend. And uh, he's making him this knife for hunting. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, it's only a little one. It's massive. That blade, how long is that? 30 centi 40 centimeters? Um, actually, I'm not sure. Let's measure it. Let's measure it, yeah. Where do you measure From tip to then? Uh, your blade length 30 is... centimeters? Blade length is. Yeah, 30. I'd say about 28, 30. 30 centimeters. <laughs> That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> Well, it will be similar to uh, to the one he had. The Dundee one. That yeah. Talking about yes. <laughs> that's a mini machete. <laughs> exactly machete. what it'll be used for. Yep. Yep, that's what it's for. Cutting down bush when you're walking through and hunting and stuff. So. Yep. 
that's like zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Loretta, look, I'm to tell you the truth, I'm more of a cat than a dog, but she is very cute. She's just got this adorable face. She does. She gets me every time. Um, usually, what does he hunt normally? Uh, deer. Deer, rabbit. Yep. Um, that's probably about it, really. He did do duck. Duck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He only shoots what he can eat. He, yeah. They only. They don't. They. Yeah. They don't just go out for fun and do it. They they use it. <laughs> Every part of it. Awesome, Cam. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you again to uh, Kenny. And we had... Um, some super chats there from Kat and I don't know the name of the other person who gave me super chat um, so hello and welcome and thank you <laughs> um, so yeah big thanks McLovin I don't know who that is who are you McLovin <laughs> but big thank you guys it means a lot and thank you so much Kenny for the pencils and to Isolina for the book and I'm gonna have to go over those eyes again I can see the black coming through there but we'll do another layer of that later but that's it I'm done I am done and uh, sorry about your ears Linda <laughs> yeah they do Linda yeah yeah well this is Cam's cousin uh, he goes out sometimes with him but um they've only caught rabbit they've only done rabbit so far so um, oh, Nani wants in now. She's so cute. <laughs> Big thank you, everyone, for being here. And I will see you on uh, Thursday, patrons, and Friday for our next Captain Marvel installment. That will be fun. That will be fun. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Bye. Have a good day, evening, night, wherever you are. Bye. <laughs>